And now it gives me great pleasure to welcome back to the podium our president, Dr. Elaine P. Maimon. Well, it is so inspiring to hear about the teachers who have inspired you. I'm now entering my ninth year as the president of Governor State University, and I'm pleased to report that at Governor State University, the state of the university is strong. It was a real thrill to see our dual degree students, our first class of sophomores, and our new freshmen marching into the auditorium. In years past, in the bad old days, university presidents would actually say the following to students. They'd say, look to the right of you, look to the left of you, only one of you will march at graduation. Mm. GSU has devoted much thought and effort to designing programs leading to the timely completion of university degrees. What we say is, look to the right of you, look to the left of you, and make friends with those sitting next to you because you'll be marching together at graduation. Welcome to the class of 2019. <laughs> 2019 is the year of Governor State University's 50th anniversary. And we will be celebrating that milestone together. Welcome back, class of 2018. You are GSU's first sophomore class. You are once again making history, and it's a pleasure to see that you have made GSU your home. You are already campus leaders, engaged in your studies, participating in clubs, representing the, the university and the community. I have to tell you, from my observation, the class of 2018, our sophomores, own the campus. Yes, is that right? <laughs> I want to welcome our dual degree program, our DDP students. Please treasure the cords of your community colleges. That's where you got a great start. And we honor our community colleges and the professors and administrators there. The DDP students have really been affiliated with GSU for the last two years, at least from afar, and now you are fully with us as juniors, the class of 2017. <laughs> students, GSU is committed to your success. Your success is our success. Trustees, faculty, staff, and your fellow students work tirelessly every day to create experiences that will promote your growth and development. Wayne Booth, the great literary critic, talks about educating the imagination. I love that phrase, educating the imagination, because whatever we do, we have to imagine it first, and you cannot become what you cannot imagine. We will work with you to help you imagine your success realistically and in detail. We are committed to advising you on how to graduate with as little debt as possible, okay? And get advice on that. See our financial aid advisors. We're committed to providing a full program of on-campus employment, and the job fair is coming up in the next few days, and get an on-campus job. It's going to be something that'll make your life much more organized. We're committed to making sure that you have a strong academic foundation with every freshman course taught by a full-time faculty member. And that's amazing. It doesn't happen every place. We are the Jaguars. Where's our, where are our athletic teams? You're all in there? 
We're proud of our new athletic program. And by the way, we are now full-fledged members of the National Intercollegiate Athletic Association, NAIA. But the Jaguar symbol goes beyond athletics. The Jaguar is beautiful, sleek, and nimble. The Jaguar unites us, freshmen, transfers, graduate students, faculty, administrators, staff, trustees, family, and community members. We are Jaguar Nation, all of us together, and the whole is more than the sum of its parts. Welcome, everyone, to Jaguar Nation. As our a cappella choir sang, this has got to be the best day of our life. Hey, hi, Jax. Hey, Jax. I'm sure Jax agrees. It's a great day to be a Jaguar. Let's go celebrate and eat some ice cream. Woo! 